God bless you, Zaman Yoli Yolanda Sala. Say hello to everybody in America. Happy New Year because we know it is going to come another year. We want to celebrate that year very good with our family, right? Enjoy that Christmas and everybody's going to have a very, very beautiful Christmas. When that year comes, everybody's going to celebrate because I know everybody's going to receive that New Year with a lot of joy, right? Let's talk about what is Christmas for you, for me, for everybody in the, in the family. For me, let me explain for you what is Christmas for me. Christmas for me is to be enjoyed with our family and everything and be together. Not only because we see that the 21st, we know everybody celebrate the day of Christmas. I mean, when Santa bring a lot of presents to everybody, our home. And we know that, right? And sometimes we see people, they not receive nothing for Christmas but they feel sad why you feel sad why you say god thank you because i'm alive it doesn't matter if you don't receive nothing in christmas we know is at uh, christmas is to give gift to everybody right and you know it's beautiful when somebody give you a gift and we know um people they be home they whole year and they don't go no places but when christmas come you know every church in america is full about people to looking for person, right? Sometimes we have in in, in change per um, person. Everybody, you know, they make a exchange, and this one give you a present to this one, and the other one give you a present to the other one. And they have a chain. We know that, right? And Christmas, we know that. But a lot of people, like I said, they don't have money to buy presents. And we know a lot of people is sad because we know um, New York City and in a lot of places, not only in New York City, we know a lot of people they're homeless. They don't have no money to buy presents. It's so sad. So sometimes we need to help those people. They don't have, they have family, but they don't have money to give gift to her family, right? And we need to give you a hand. Sometimes we ask people inside the internet, listen, if you have uh, in your home, like I said, a lot of, Clothes or something like that. You got a lot of clothes that you well, and, and you want to throw it away. Uh, so you want to go into my page in Facebook and let me know so I can be a gratitude to give it that clothes to people they need it. Sometimes it's like that, right? It's like it's a virtue. I mean, like to give to people when they need and they don't have nothing to give to the family, right? I like to give. I don't care who not gave it to me, but I like to give. And sometimes we'll be talking about the church. So then we go to church and we try to um, go enjoy the service, but we more look up so somebody give it to us, a gift. The most beautiful gift we you never receive in America is the love of God. It's the most beautiful gift you can receive in the salvation. Most beautiful gift in America. Sometimes people, they don't care about that because they are more interested in material things than to be um interested to look the for God and the love of God, right? Or that joy from God that we're talking about. And sometimes we talk this inside the internet because we're talking about what is Christmas for you, for me, for everybody around the world. Sometimes uh, a lot of people they be together only in Christmas. But when Christmas finished everybody um separate and everybody go each every place is enough. They forgot each other and never even write a letter. And sometimes we know we have parents, we have grandparents and everything. And sometimes we don't even remember even in Christmas because we don't even want to know about them even in Christmas. And sometimes, like I said, Christmas is not like I said, present or or what they gave to you. Nothing like Christmas is to give the love or. God to the people they need you. That is Christmas. And give to the people they need. And what I always like sometimes I hear the radio. This is um a kid that he has so many gifts, but he wants to do something better than that about this year. Give to all the people how much they need. Um they are hungry, they need something to eat, give all the money they can buy and give to those people they need it. And that's something beautiful that you do for something they need from you, for me, and for everybody. So beautiful. Christmas is something beautiful when you give um, 
and not to receive. Sometimes people like always receive, not give nothing to nobody. And sometimes they ask yourself, why well, I don't receive nothing? You don't receive nothing, but you don't even give nothing to nobody. That's why you don't even receive nothing. But you need to give. It doesn't matter nobody gave it to you. You know something? When I go to the um uh, like I said in the mailbox, sometimes try to check it out. It's something inside the mailbox for me. I'm not looking for nothing, you know, but sometimes you like to receive a poor car, a Christmas car, something like that. I don't receive nothing. Nobody from my family send me nothing. Nobody from my family um, visit me in Christmas and bring me nothing. So I thank God that I had another day in yeah, my life. Always say that in every place I go. Sometimes when I go to church, you're thinking pastors or, or like I said, Ministry, they know I'm a, I used to be a wife or a wife or a pastor, and he passed away. And you think in those pastors, they kind of say, Oh, look, this is a lady pastor, let's uh, give a gift uh, to this lady because she's um, a lady from a pastor, and she now she need more because she's a widow. That's what I'm saying, and she need more from us. Because it's true, when you don't have a husband, you need more from the brothers and sisters. And sometimes it's not like that because the love of God by many people inside the church is praying. And you know it's true. So, it's so sad. But like I always telling you, it's more better to give to receive. In Christmas, everybody go to the tree and run to the tree and give a look kind of inside the box and see so they can receive something and something like that. And when they receive something they don't like it, they drop the bags in the floor and say, Oh my God, why they gave that to me? Why I receive this? I don't like it. And that's not so expensive. And you want to receive expensive clothes and pants, dress or something, high class and something like that, right? But when we ask you, when we say, and sometimes people, they believe in Santa, like I always say. And you know Santa's not real. You know Santa's not real. But like I always tell you, I, I'm telling you, a lot of kids in America, they believe in Santa, and you know it's true. But like I said, uh, you, we know we are, we are the person who go into the store and buy presents and give it to the kid. And you know it's true because Santa's only a man, they make a drama inside the Macy, um, work for home money and try to be a uh, Santa and show, uh, uh, sell to the kid and make the, his Santa, but he's not Santa. Like when you go to Halloween, he got a castle and you know it's true. But a lot of people, they that make kid believe that that is Santa and you know it's not true because he's not Santa. We cannot. I like to our kid, but a lot of people like to like her kid and selling this is Santa. And you know, you have more than 20 years be lied to your kid and telling them that that is Santa and you never tell them the truth, right? Because they, okay, and you don't want to spoil, uh, spoil her Christmas. That's why you try to do to your kid, right? But it's a sad, we're living that kind of life and we grow up and we know and we open the eyes because we are those. And we know and we say, oh my God, many years living this, like I said, this drama that this was Santa and we know that he never be Santa because now we're on, we see we're all, I, the who buy the present is us, not, not Santa. Imagine a man in the red suit around the world giving so many gifts to a lot of children. You know how many, million, million, million. Children in America, they have to receive a present. And a lot of kids, and you know how a lot of kids, they write in a letter and never receive nothing from the government and nobody because nobody is going to give a gift to the kids on an apartment. And we see some ignorant kids, they write letters and they say we send it to Santa to the North Pole. And we know that, right? And you know it's a lie because he's not a lie. Sometimes it's a lot of people that lie to tell them the truth to these people, but a lot of people, um, they try to, uh, like I say, beat him, beat, um, beat him up or something like that, or try to fight with you because they say, shut your mouth, don't say something like that, because we want to, our uh, kid know that this is Santa, and you know that's a lie, because that means it's not Santa. You know that's a man um, in a red suit, make a drama, like his Santa is like uh, he doing for the kid be enjoy Christmas. And you know it's true. We are just telling you the truth. Sometimes we be lying the whole life and we will grow up and we found out that we was our partner was telling us 
there was a lie, but you continue with that generation and tell it to your own kid and keep it like it's a lot of Christian people do the same too too. And you know it's true. And tell um tell our kid the Santa is um the one that bring the gift. And you know it's true, and you know you are alive. Because you know you were the one, the one buy the gift to the kid. And you know it's true. So we don't want to spare uh spoil the, the, the Christmas to the kids as well. We want to do something like that. And so so we we bully in this kind of the like uh, like I said, this kind of um um movie because it's like a movie, you know. And sometimes we see so many movies about Christmas and and fairy tales about Santa and stuff like that, and we say, Wow, wow, wow. But and you know it's not true. But Christmas for me is to be together with the family, there's someone if you don't have no gift, and you treat. And we know you see my Christmas tree right here, but that means it's a full of present. But, uh, but I want to have peace in my home, in have a uh, table, with a place, um, like I say, empty, but with my heart with a lot of love to my family. And that's a beautiful thing that I can give it to my family. This year, of course, that's Christmas for me. I don't know why it's Christmas for you, but for me, it's not only present, gift, or nothing like that. It's to helping people. They need me, be there when they need me, and that is Christmas for me. And thank God to have a beautiful family that I have, and be blessed for my family. God bless you and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And that's Christmas for me. I don't know why it's Christmas for you, but I, I'm telling you, in this day. From the YouTube channel, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And this year bring you a lot of a lot of joy and a lot of peace in your life and your family. If you have family that you never even talk, go now and show the love of God to your family. God bless you. For New York City and Bandili Channel. Merry Christmas.